I think it's better when it's done in henna because then it goes away. <laughs> Old school tattooing is dead. Now I know what you're thinking. That is a bold statement, but hear me out. The tattoo scene is changing, but the mainstream industry seems to stay the same. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, just a disclaimer. I'm not just some random dude talking about tattoos. Well, I mean, I am, but I've been getting tattooed for years and I've learned a lot about the industry in that time. So just a heads up so I'm not torn apart in the comments. Okay, back to the video. Okay, let's take a look at one of the most popular tattoo related websites on the internet with close to two and a half million monthly visitors. Inked Mag, I'm sure we've all seen the, the magazines at the drugstore and whatnot. Um, just, you know, girls in bikinis and that's it. <laughs> but their website is really something else. So uh, let's scroll down a bit. Woman eats 15 jars of Nutella per month to achieve world's largest bun. Because, you know, whenever I'm thinking of tattoos, I'm also thinking of someone eating a bunch of Nutella to get a big butt. Clearly, man dumps world's sexiest weather girl to play video games. Out of the 10 articles I see right now, three of them are about tattoos. So there's that. And the other articles are just about like, sexy women and stuff. It's just like a really off-putting website. And so when I mean this is what is wrong with the tattoo industry, this is what I mean. This is our crown jewel. Inked man, eating a bunch of Nutella. Now that's tattoos. <laughs> now let's take a look at some of these uh, tattoo magazines. Okay, so when you wanna buy a magazine, where's the best place to go? A bookstore. So I'm on my way to probably the biggest bookstore in this part of downtown anyway, going to the Toronto Eaton Center to check out what is available to the general public in terms of tattoo magazines. So let's go. The magazines it took a while to find because they were hidden at the very back. It sucks that the only available tattoo magazines are tucked in the far corner with other just random sex themed magazines far away from the fashion and art magazines. I just kept getting the feeling that they were trying to hide these magazines from everybody. Okay, so I just left the bookstore. As you saw, the magazines are really like sexual and stuff. And I sat down and read them for a bit. And I was like, just like flipping through them. And I felt like, like I wasn't allowed to do that, you know? Like I thought if someone were to look over, they'd be like, oh, why is that guy reading a pornographic magazine in public, you know? Um, but we got a few magazines back at the office, so let's go take a closer look back there. First off, uh, we have Inked, the, the, the best, you know, the Nutella website. Just, as you can see, the front is literally, it's, this issue is called the sex issue. Literally, it's just not even subtle anymore. They're like, yep, the sex issue. I have an issue with this. <laughs> okay, bad joke. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's just like, as you can see, there's just like a really overtly sexual like undertone to everything that they do. And, it, and if it isn't sexual, it's just insanely masculine, like intimidating being like, yeah, tattoos, bro. I'm gonna light a cigarette on my eyeball and, and... And we got another one. It's just called Tattoo and a girl in a bikini, because you know, objectification sells magazines apparently. I feel like these magazines are just so insanely targeted towards like straight men, but tattoos are for everybody. These are the types of things that make it so hard for people to get into tattoos or even get into tattooing. Honestly, if people wonder why people have looked down on tattoos for so many years, there's a prime example. To give you an example of this old school tattooing mentality, there are some shops that if you walk in there and you give them a design, tell them what you want, and they don't like it or think it's like cheesy or stupid, they straight up won't tattoo you. Or they'll completely change your tattoo until it's something that they're comfortable with doing. You know, and I, you know, when somebody comes in and wants like an owl on their chest, it's like, why don't you just get a fucking eagle on your chest? Why do you gotta get an owl? You know, it's a good thing to just be able to give somebody a nice, solid, clean, predictable tattoo. That's a good thing. And even if it's a tattoo that 50 people have, it's new and it's, it's original because, you know, because you have to put your hand to it, you know? Of course, there are exceptions on what you should and shouldn't get tattooed on you. But at the end of the day, it's your body and you can get whatever you want tattooed on it, you know? Tattoos should be about self-expression and having a piece of art on your body forever. 
meaningful or not. And when artists hang on to these old, traditional, judgmental viewpoints, it hurts the tattoo industry like way more than it helps it. It's the same thing happening right now in like hip hop, for example, when a lot of like the older people are getting very upset with like the new style of hip hop and everything. But just because it's new and different doesn't necessarily make it bad. It just makes it different, just like any sort of art. Now going even further, there's a lot of hypocrisy that occurs when you hang on to these viewpoints towards tattooing. Like these traditional tattoo artists will get mad at someone for getting like an owl tattoo or a dream catcher or a feather or something like that because they'll be like, Oh, so many people have it already. And the next week they'll tattoo like eight crawling jaguars on people, you know? So you can't really make fun of people for getting the same tattoo as other people if you're tattooing the same thing on so many different people, you know? Oh, I have to have something custom. You know, if it's on the wall, then it's very common and you know, everybody has that. I want something that's unique, you know, but I mean, let's face it, the most unique tattoos are always the ones that suck the most, you know what I mean? Like the, the best tattoos are the ones you've seen a million times. You know, there's, there's strength in that crawling panther because you know it, whether you have tattoos or have ever been in a tattoo shop, that has power. I think that it's recognizability, it's iconic. You see, now if you live somewhere like Toronto, LA, New York, like main cities, you probably won't run in to tattoo artists like this. Because obviously there's more people, so there's different sorts of tattooing. There's more people that are giving tattoos. But if you're somewhere in like a small town with only like one or two tattoo shops, then there's probably a high chance that you will encounter an artist like this. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to get yelled at in the comments. I have so much respect for all tattoo artists, traditional tattoo artists. Like the respect is there, it's never going to go away because they paved the way for so many different types of tattooing. It's a skill that I don't have and I never will have and I'm thoroughly impressed by it. But the new styles of tattooing, the new viewpoints towards them and the new ideas behind them should be supported and celebrated because the new scene of tattooing is what tattooing is all about, self-expression. And I think that's what this video kind of boils down to. Tattoos used to be about pain and permanence, but now I think it's just a celebration of art yourself, others, expression, being yourself, celebrating art, celebrating each other, positive things other than pain and toughness and cigarettes and girls eating Nutella. <laughs> With tattoos becoming more mainstream, there are naturally going to be more styles and techniques and that should be embraced. More than 40% of millennials have at least one tattoo and there are more tattoo parlors than Starbucks coffee shops in America. The future of tattooing may be different than what people originally thought it was going to be, but it can be something really great if everybody embraces it. So, any old school tattoo artist watching this right now, don't take yourself so seriously. It's just tattoos, you know? They're only on your skin forever. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it's a little different from what we make on this channel, but we wanted to give it a try and we want to hear what you guys think. Let's have a discussion in the comments below. So leave a comment what you think about the tattoo scene and how tattoos have changed. Let's just have a big old discussion down there. So leave a comment and we'll go from there. And obviously press the like button if you enjoyed it. Press the dislike button if you didn't enjoy it. And press the subscribe button because we make videos every week. All right, I've been Curtis Connor from Inkbox. You've been you from wherever you are. All right, see ya. I'm gonna go eat some Nutella so I can get the world's biggest butt. <laughs> See ya.